Welcome back to the channel guys. My name is Thomas with TMWYT. Back again here in the home garage like usual. Got the golf behind me, but we're not doing anything on the golf today, but you should see lots of videos surrounding this one. Plenty more mods coming for the golf R. This should probably be done by the time you see this video. Two days ago was one of my best friend Tristan's or Shokan Visual's birthday. So I got him a very special birthday present that I want to share with you guys on the channel. We're just waiting for Tristan to pull up right now. Got the garage all open for him. Hey guys, here's the plan. I'm gonna play a little joke on Tristan. So when he opens this box, which has the real present in it, he's gonna find Diablo wheel cleaner, wrap detailer, and citrus wash and gloss. And I'm gonna hide the contents of the box. And I'm gonna tell him, no, nah, I couldn't get what you wanted. I should probably just give you guys a peek of what it is. Oh, he is my best friend, so you know, gotta play a couple tricks on him. He won't even suspect a thing. Oh, it's heavy. He's not gonna know what's gonna hit him. So, the present is in here. He thinks he's getting a Chemical Guys Detail car kit, but he's actually getting, I probably should just tell you guys. Ah, it's gonna be in the title. It's Vertex Steering Wheel. You'll see it as soon as he opens, but if you guys know like JDM parts and stuff like that, like. Vertex is huge in that kind of stuff. I don't know, I'm a Volkswagen boy. Apparently Vertex is super dope. I see him all the time in like really cool builds. So I picked him up a Vertex steering wheel that matches his car perfectly. And then his girlfriend got him the quick release and the hub and she already got her. So she gave him to him two days ago and he's been kind of on the hint that he's getting the steering wheel. So that's why I did the car care kit. So he's gonna assume it's a steering wheel, and I've told him that I got him a giant dildo shifter knob. Can't wait, guys. This is going to be super fun to see his reaction. Let's see what happens. Just got to wait for this boy. He's so slow. Still no loud-ass FRS in my garage. Ooh. Ooh. Yo, are we, good, are we live on the vlog right now? <laughs> Tristan's camera voice comes out as soon as he sees my camera. He's like, whoa, how's <laughs> it going? <laughs> whoa. I'm going to turn it off. We'll get, we'll get your present. Okay. Yeah. All right. Here you go. The big moment to eat the big dildo. Damn, yeah. That's a heavy dildo, bro. What you think? I love it, dude. You like it? Go. Absolutely. Ah, you cute. Think I got you that? You think I got you that? You think I got you Carter? Ooh, okay. Okay. That looks like a steering wheel right there. What we get? Oh. Yo, that's a Vertex steering wheel, boy! Bro. <laughs> he thought he was getting a car care cleaning kit. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I was like, yo! Your face when you opened that, you were like, meh. <laughs> meh. <laughs> yo, dude, this is sick. I think the color match is pretty good. Dude, the color. I couldn't tell online, them Japanese boys crazy. <laughs> All right, let's get it tossed in. All right, guys, so we just gave Tristan the present. He's very excited, very happy. I'm so oh, happy. Such a happy <laughs> boy. Okay, so we got the energy quick release and the energy short hub for the FRS. So Tristan's just gonna get right down to it. We're gonna get this thing installed and see how his new Vertex steering wheel looks. Silver stitching and the teal or blue, hyper blue kind of look to match Tristan's wrap. And then it's got pink stitching on the inside, the pink Vertex logo, and then it says Vertex in silver up here, and Vertex in the blue on the back. Super cool looking wheel, very deep dish. So he forgot them like a dumb Tristan he is, but his girlfriend also got him the Vertex turn signals, the turn signal extension since we got him the deep dish wheel. So he's gonna have the Vertex turn signal extensions with the Vertex wheel, and then the, NRG quick release 
going to be a sick setup. We'll get it tossed in his FRS here. Let's just get right into it. What are you doing right now, bud? Two holes on each side of the steering wheel here, and then there's one on the bottom. You want to use a thin screwdriver, like so. I believe there's a pin that you push in. I already got this side, but this side's claimed to be kind of a pain. Now we watch as the Tristan struggles to install <laughs> his wheel. But like, I'm just poking around randomly right now trying we to... We watch as the Tristan pokes <laughs> around randomly at his <laughs> steering wheel. Whatever will he do next? Nope. Oh. Nope. Airbag goes off and you explode. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> you really probably should disconnect the battery soon so you don't get airbag to the <coughs> face. <clears throat> no, the bat... The... It's all good. Um, I'm gonna... You're gonna take off your steering wheel without disconnect the battery? Yeah. What? Tristan's risking it for the biscuit. You're gonna get an airbag shot to the face, boy. Nah, we'll be good. Oh, oh. Vortex! Wow, so fancy! Hot boy steering wheel! Alright, so once you get this thing out, you want to be very, very careful. I like how you're teaching them how to do it, and you don't know how to do it. No, I know how to do it. Uh-huh. I've already watched okay. videos on right. it. I just saw you struggling with those holes, like, not even 30 seconds Well, yeah, ago. it's because I couldn't see down the holes. Said, so where are the holes? I can't see it. <laughs> Bro, if you can't find the holes, that's on your end. <laughs> I can't help you there, dog. This wire here, I believe, is your horn. Clip um, the red wire. So you'll want to disconnect that wire and you just do so by pulling it off. I swear to God, if this airbag comes off, bro. If you guys are doing this to your own car, disconnect the battery. I think Tristan's gonna... No. We continue to watch as the Tristan struggles. What will happen next? It's a lot harder than it seems. Dang it. I know what I'm doing. <laughs> Here, just so it makes you more comfortable, let's just, uh, you'll need a flathead screwdriver for these clips right here. Okay. These yellow clips. Are those the airbag ones? Yes. So you just do this. Uh. Right? And then you pull them off. I swear to God. <laughs> swear to Dude, God. I'm so scared you're just gonna blow an airbag in your face. Nah, we'll be good. I've seen the guy do it. The YouTube video he watched on the way over here. Yes. See? Alright. See? Just like that. Okay, if you want to be a madman like Tristan, then you can do that without disconnecting <laughs> your battery. I mean, if the airbag does go off, it's oh. fine, because we got your new steering wheel. Yeah. I mean, your ribs might be shot for <laughs> like a month. Oh, he got it off. So yeah, you just so, pulled that little clippy thing off. Yeah, huh? so there's like, there's a little thing right here. A that you gotta, thing. Yeah, it's a little clip. You gotta push that in so it ah. releases off that, and ah, okay. now you can just toss this over to the side. Oh, okay, yeah, you just toss it because there's a loaded airbag in there, right? <laughs> you just throw it at Thomas's car. <laughs> okay, now this is this is a very very important part right here. So this right here, very important. This right here is your timing uh, clock. The clock spring. The clock spring. Yes, you want to be very careful when removing that because you do not want to mess that up. From wow. what I've heard on. Serious. What you're now gonna do is you're gonna get a 17 mil. I don't know what the hell that's called. The center, center nut that holds your steering wheel in place. <laughs> nut. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So Thomas brought me the weapon of mass destruction here. You don't want to completely take this bolt off because the steering wheel rack is really, really hard. Hard. In order to like slap the steering wheel back, slap it back. <laughs> you want to make sure <laughs> that the nut is still on there, so that way when you slap it back, it doesn't. Are we making a porno in or installing a steering wheel? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they weren't kidding about, uh... We watch as the Shokan struggles. Oh, You're dead now, Shokan! <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. This thing is to take off. Wow. Oh, there we go. Oh, did you get it? Yep, we got it. Oh, here comes the steering wheel. Again, be very, very, very careful with your clock spring. That thing right there is the clock spring, guys. Do not want to yank on that and mess that up. Okay. Yank. Yeah, put this on. This this will be off of the, the hub assembly, of course. Um, okay. But we yeah. know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, I'm just kind of rambling <laughs> off. I'm still just so, like, excited about my steering wheel. You excited about the steering wheel? Ah! <laughs> he thought he was getting a car care cleaning kit. <laughs> <laughs> I told him it was a giant gorilla dildo, and he was very excited. He was like, damn, that's going to match my build so nicely. But, I mean, he kind of already has one in here. Look at this shaft. <laughs> when you go to install this, you want to make sure that the NRG 
uh, laser etched logo is on the top of your steering column. And then we'll also poke this blue wire. He sounds like he works for NRG. He's like, make sure that the logo is on top so everybody can see your NRG hub. All the wires um, that were in there originally, you just want to tuck into the inside of this metal piece. Before you try and gun that down, make sure that you hand tighten it first. Hand tighten? Dude, you don't want to misthread this. Dude, you don't want to. Misthreads it. <laughs> So we put on the nut really tight and we went through all that and then he forgot something. So going backwards. All right, Tristan plugged some doohickeys in. <laughs> um, yeah, sick. I searched far and wide and I found- Far and wide. I found Devin Nilimia? Nimilia. Nimilia. Devin Nimilia's video on his NRG quick release install and he just said plug in your resistors so that way, um, you know, you don't get an airbag light on your dash or your gauge cluster when, when you turn on the car. Okay, so he's gonna thread all those wires through. After hours of pain and suffering, Shoken was able to shove all the little wires and tie it inside of the little hole. Dude, that thing <laughs> sucked. <laughs> so now we are ready to finally tighten up. I thought you were supposed to hand tighten it first. I already did. Okay, good boy. Now, the NRG short hub is installed. Yes. <laughs> Finally. Finally. It only took you 12 goddamn years. <laughs> <laughs> the black wire to the black wire, and then the uh, yellow wire to the blue wire. This is ready to be bolted on. And again, you want to just make sure that the NRG logos are directly above. Boop. And the NRG logo up there. Boop. Yes. Boop. So you're just threading in all those little Allen, Allen bolts? Yep. Now I need to find that little allen key oh by the way oh my god this is funny yeah i'm like the king of losing things like really five seconds after i put them down. i had no idea dude it looks so fire but it's so far out now yes it is that's why you need the extensions <laughs> he got we, his girlfriend got him the vertex extensions but he left them at home <laughs> i can't reach it's like a whole ass like half an inch yeah less in diameter is that a bad thing no nope. drift boys use the steering wheel i'm pretty sure i don't know <laughs> jdm bro <laughs> <laughs> jdm bro now he's got to install the horn and the included allen bolts hey guys so this little yellow connector right there is going to connect to the horn prong right here boop right there and then we are cutting the connector off of the black wire we're gonna wrap the ground around this little prong because we tested it and when you press this button the horn goes off um, so that's how we're gonna do it um, if we're wrong flame us in the comment section but this is just how we're gonna do it it's got the vertex logo and everything and what's cool is if Tristan gets bored of this horn there's so many different horns he can buy and they're so cheap and everybody makes like cool designs and different whatnot so if he doesn't want to rock the Oh, that's sick. It's like shiny. Okay, so we probably should like solder and splice this on there, but we're just gonna do it the quick method. So we did a nice little wrap around the wire, make sure it's nice and on there tight. And then we're just gonna wrap it all in electrical tape and call it a day. And if it stops working, we'll let you guys know. <laughs> what? One thing I just realized, you should probably bolt in the steering wheel before you, <laughs> you can plug in the horn because <laughs> boy so that is one thing oh that my. <laughs> always doing stuff backwards and forgetting stuff all right tristan got the horn connected again as we showed you with the electrical tape and wrapping it around the little ground now he's just bolting in all the provided hardware from vertex vertex hardware whoa 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 <laughs> hey bro all right we steady, got everything bro. all installed the horns on let me see the horn let me see the horn oh that's sick Woo. That is so sick. All right, dig it. Oh, oh. <laughs> You'll get better at it. Oh, it ding. Does it ding? Ding, doing, ding, <laughs> doing. There you go. <laughs> There's the ding. Dude, it looks so fire, bro. Makes me want to get one. What do you guys think? Vertex steering wheel on the golf? Yes. I'm already the first vote. Yes. It's dark out, but you can still kind of see. Oh my gosh, your car's annoying. <laughs> Jesus Lord. You got the Vertex steering wheel driving. Looking so sick. What are your first thoughts? It's. It feels really like different at first, but I know it's like something that I'll have to get used to. Steering wheel's all done. Showcan loves it. Looks freaking sick. It dings. 
We got the uh, the turn signal extension there, so you can reach it okay. <laughs> the funny thing about this thing too is when you're making a right hand turn, and then it drops, <laughs> it goes directly back down. Like it's this extension's like too heavy, so when it goes up and it drops, it just drops down to the next. Now, one. now you're uh, now you're automatically turning left. <laughs> there you go. This wire. Good little install. Happy birthday to my boy, Showcam Visuals. Thanks, buddy. I'll leave you guys with a little cinematic here. Cue that. But if you guys enjoyed today's video, please leave a like down below. Let me know what you think of the new Vertex steering wheel for Tristan's FRS. We've got more things coming for the build, but this just looks so freaking sick. So much hot boy cloud should we, status. Should, should the next mod be seats? Some NRG bucket seats, the, the, the Prismas? Should we do some bucket seats? The should next we, mod should be wheels and wide body. Yeah. Drop a like, wheels and wide body, wheels and wide body. Comment if you want to see the seats. All right, bet. That's going to be it for today, guys. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing the Vertex steering wheel install on Tristan's FRS. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. In the next one.